Why is your dress all dirty? Damn. Thank you. Booty. Now we can pick up the report again. Good job. Okay. Here we go. Welcome back, viewers. Thanks to the efforts of our news team, power has been restored to the building. We will now investigate the interior of Club Gochi. All right. <laughs> As you can see, Club Gochi what? is designed to look <laughs> like a gigantic prison cell. Entirely You're in the shot sound guy. Bars, it's rather disconcerting to be inside. But these days, Club Gochi is a popular night spot with a hip young crowd. Wanna open the door? This is the entrance. It doesn't look like anybody will be getting carded today. <laughs> I gotta turn away from the character sometimes to keep the audio uh, at normal speed. This is the dance floor. Ordinarily, this floor would be pulsating with the vibrations of loud dance music. But, as you can see, it's entirely silent now. He hit his head too hard when you threw him off the stairs? Hey, I didn't throw anybody off anything. That guy, that he tripped. It was dark. I was over here looking for the breaker. This is the stage. There's some equipment set up for the DJ. I like how there's locks on to her. It's like booty all day. Sound guy, he's like running out of camera's view. <laughs> Good job, dude. Good job, Briscoe. I'm proud of you. Dude, get out of the way, man. Get out of the way. What are we looking at here? These are speakers. Anything important? Hey! Flyers? Oh, nothing good. We gotta solve this, this crime of, uh, this mystery of, of demonic presence in our city. If, um, she would hurry up. Ready? Alright, we'll go over here first. This is the bar. As you can see, they have a large assortment of liquor, wine, and beer. Was that really newsworthy, dude? Hmm. Anything suspicious in here? The speaker is on. Hey, you hear anything? I mean, we're in here for a reason, right? We done? That's all you want to do? Okay, can, can we investigate the door over here? Some glasses. Dude! Come on! Here she comes, finally! Stupid sound guy? Briscoe's good. Briscoe's good. Could that room beyond the stage be the VIP room? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he tries his best, man. This is the VIP room. Pamela died. Club Gochi's holiest ground, one could say. Could the man named Dr. O'Connor be inside this room? All right, we can Dr. see. Dr. O'Connor, we can. Are you there, there he is. I done seen him. Doctor. Dr. O'Connor. Were you just sitting in the dark? Nice hair. Sorry. Sorry. He's here. You're Dr. O'Connor, aren't you? What's this? Who are you people? You there, turn off that camera. No. 
I'm Ann Anderson, a reporter from Zaka TV. You're Dr. O'Connor, aren't you? Would you please allow us to interview you? What in the world are you talking about? No sense. Is Dr. Connor O'Connor sitting in the corner? Dr. O'Connor, we have reason to believe that you know what is behind this mysterious fog. What is causing the gruesome monster attacks all over Chicago? We want to hear the truth directly from you. I'm trying to find a street spot. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why on earth are you bothering me? This is completely outrageous. There we go. <laughs> you were supposed to meet a man named Glenn Buckland here, weren't you? Huh? How did you know that? Did you talk to him? He's dead. Why isn't Glenn here? He's dead. What? Glenn? He was killed by a monster. He was attacked in the basement of the library. We tried to save him, but... I see. And you want to know more about what killed him, is that it? So you do know something, isn't that true? I'll tell you about it then. The monster that killed him... is the military. The government. Call it! And... Zaka Group. What are you talking about? The military, the government, and Zaka Group? <laughs> Trying to use that brain of yours, are you? Zaka Group is a huge enterprise made up of a parent company and some 1,300 subsidiaries. Did you ever stop to wonder how it got so big? Just what are you insinuating? DNA, that's how. DNA? <laughs> I see TV turns even the brains of those who appear on it to mush. Huh. You must at least know that Zaka Group has a patent on its DNA manipulation technology. I I'm thought we were just reporters. Stupid. Of course I know that much. But I'm sure your tiny brain has never imagined what Zaka could do with that technology. You sure know how to make people angry, don't you? <laughs> Soon you humans won't be enjoying such superior attitudes anymore. What in the world are you babbling about? Frisco? There's something wrong with this guy. All right, all right. Calm down, both of you. I'm sorry, Dr. O'Connor. Why don't we all have a drink? Yeah. We can talk again after we've had a chance to relax. Why do all of you turn to alcohol in every situation? Usually, you hold yourselves in check. But then you use alcohol as a crutch and expect it to solve all of your problems. Isn't it all rather ridiculous? Besides, my body can't process alcohol anymore. I guess that much. In the end, no matter what I tell you, it's not like it'll save you from getting infected. What is this lunatic talking about? Hold on, Briscoe. Dr. O'Connor, what do you mean, infected? The virus. Virus? What virus? Is your head an empty shell as well? The virus is what's behind everything that's been going on here in the city. You've seen them, haven't you? The people being transformed. Now, wait just one minute. <laughs> People turning into monsters? Didn't you see Pamela? DNA? A virus? <laughs> now you're finally beginning to catch on. 
Are you talking about biological weapons? B.O.W.s! Making viruses on purpose? Why would anyone do that? Isn't it wonderful? Oh it's the latest God. form of bioweapon. The enemies are in This is William Birkin! <laughs> and they turn into monsters and start killing each other. Its beauty is in its efficiency. But I'm afraid this virus has been a failure. Those infected can't be controlled and their sense organs degenerate. They display excessive reactions to loud noises which attract them. And they just don't make good weapons. How did the virus get spread all over Chicago? I don't know. Good question. <gasps> Come to think of it. <laughs> About a week ago, a small plane of unknown origin crashed into Lake Michigan. Could that have been the cause? Yes, it very well could have been. Don't tell me you don't have a way to stop the spread and development of this virus. This guy is completely bonkers. Of course there's a way. When making a virus, you obviously want to make a vaccine at the same time. This vaccine prevents people from getting infected in the first place. Uh, for those who have already turned into monsters, the vaccine euthanizes them mercifully. If you have a vaccine like that, why don't you use it? The military carried off most of the vaccine. They took the lab animals, too. I think they said something about transporting everything by train. They promised joint research, but they stole it all without contributing a thing. That's why I just can't trust the military. This is all so horrible. Hey, give us that medicine. There's still time to save everybody. <laughs> why, why do you humans always insist on remaining human? <laughs> Here you go. What's the matter? <clears throat> it looks like the symptoms of my infection are beginning to show. I... <laughs> Sherry, I, I have the vaccine right here. Then why don't you take it? I, I don't want it. It unfortunately can't be used in its current form. So what are we supposed to do? Run. <laughs> why? Why do you want to know? <laughs> you want to play hero? <laughs> just tell us. I've just been chilling this entire you game, do? you know? <laughs> the virus I created. It's now here. Inside my own body. Right. Parasite Eve. So this guy is really crazy. All right. Make sure you get all this on tape. <laughs> I'm making a report. Take a look at this. I got 11 minutes left. The man who created the virus that turns people into monsters is now just about to turn into a monster himself. 
Why did this man ever create such a virus? And why is he allowing that virus to overpower his own body now? Could it be that the guilt he carries for his sins is making him do it? Hey! That's enough! Run already! I don't have to run. I'm immortal. <laughs> Here he goes. He's just jamming out. Oh, he's like the fish thing, planting that ate Nina. And Nina? Tekken. Uh oh. Is that going to hit me? What do we do? Guys, you left me. Let the report take care of the doors. Is this the last boss? Sounds last bossy. They hate noise. Maybe we need to turn on the speakers or to attract the noise. Or something to do with noise. I think he's trying to kill me for once. And I can't leave this room. I think I'm fighting him. What do we do? Is he afraid of al- Oh, here's Briscoe. Is he afraid of alcohol? What the hell are you guys up to? He said he can't drink alcohol. Right. If you make this drink... Well... Would you guys please make the drink? He seems to be occupied with me. If you can make... It drink this... How do I go about doing that? I died! I died! Can we to do the entire thing again? <laughs> Why well, he was right next to it? In a place like this. He was right next to the damn thing. Make this drink? Yeah, retry. That's our first game over. That was our first game over. Now what does retry mean in this game? If I have to walk the beams, I'm gonna be pissed. We can skip all the cutscenes in 30 seconds, but if I have to walk the beams. Got to walk the beams. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh. Press X! Hello, when his mouth's open, press X! Aim towards Anne. Huh? So I press X. Early. She's a psychopath! I can only fire when he opens his mouth. So I don't think he needs to go in. I just need to keep doing it. She drunk? She's like drinking it and throwing the glass on its own. <laughs> it's the shards of glass going in his face that's killing him. Oh. 
I'm trying to figure out what to try and do. What's the plan here? You got a big ass tongue. It worked! Go to sound? Don't see any use for the sound. The sound just attracts them. But the beer is killing them. Maybe now the computer with the speakers? Man, we wouldn't have done this in 10 minutes. Yeah, you're right. Nothing's changed. Ah! That was so fucking dirty. He electrocuted himself. That was so fucking dirty. That was so dirty. Did you see what he just did? He like teleported and ran at me. I don't know if that would have hit me or not, but that was fucked up. <laughs> hey, good idea with the with the computer. Why did I press X? Oh, you want to see the points? I didn't even look. No. <laughs> I think I got zero. You can check the VOD. <laughs> Risco, do you really think what Dr. O'Connor said is true? Huh? What are you talking about? No, it's not the last boss. We have to make sure that, uh... Well, I wouldn't rule it out. d and I think it might be true myself. Yes, but still... What? I'm not really convinced. I mean, the military and Zaka group behind everything? It's unbelievable. And how in the world did we get mixed up in all of this? What are you talking about? This is our job. Being there to capture the truth is the <laughs> news team, isn't it? This kind of chance is the best thing that could happen to us professionally. But are we really getting closer to the truth? Just think about it a minute. Rather than it being some big conspiracy, I bet there's somebody closer to home that's pulling the strings. You're thinking too much. You're tired, and you're trying to make this whole thing more complicated than it really is. Risco, what do you think we should do now? Dr. O'Connor said they were transporting the vaccine by train, right? Well, the trains should all be stopped because of this thick fog. Why don't we go to Grant Park Station? I bet all the shipments will be held up there. That's the end of the line. Do you think we should? Of course. Well, what do you want to do? If we go right, it'll take us to the forest building. Adonis might be there. If we go left, it's Grant Park Station. We might find the vaccine. I'm worried about Adonis. Let's try the forest building. Okay, forest building it is then. Fine. We've just about reached the forest building. I hope Adonis is all right. What a name. Fair enough. As you can see, we're here inside the forest building. It seems to have escaped monster attack for now. Nothing seems to be out of place here. You okay? Let's go upstairs. Stand back, you never know. Get in. I like the the flash of static. I think it's cool. Man, Anne is an old friend now. Move, Briscoe! She dies, it's your fault, Briscoe! You killed Dan, you asshole! Oh, thank God. Jesus! They start seeing them too, apparently. 
You come in. And there's a door here. <laughs> Let's go in. All right. Knocked out my damn controls again. Ground for clues, gang. Give them a whack. Did I say locker doors? Whack the locker doors? Man, how many tips like that did we get throughout the game that we didn't, uh... That we didn't notice? How many tips? We must have missed so much. Key. Are you a robot camera? No, I'm a dude. I'm just a dude it's being a dude. A you know, I'm the guy that's writing during all the black screen stuff. Yikes. Get away from me. All right. Why well, my recording timer going down? That's as much tape is left before it runs out, you know? 3HS. You wouldn't really know about that kind of stuff, though. You weren't, you know, you weren't part of the scene. <laughs> Back in the day. Getting a three-hour tape. Hey, Igor. Getting some erotic points already? Uh, well, I do try, but I don't think I got... I don't think I got many. What do you want, girl? Hmm? We're not we're not too good with the old pervert stuff. I'm not really good at figuring it out. So it came down to playing this or Clock Tower 3. I have both of them ready to go. And I, I went with this because it was a shorter game. But uh, I'm really glad I played it now. That is pretty damn good. Do I just leave? Because she doesn't want to talk to me. I know you do in IRL. I mean in this game. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's alright. It's all, It seems going well. About the same. Oh, she's leaving? Okay, fine. Clock Tower 3 has been done to death. Like what? Everyone plays it? I've only ever seen a few minutes of it. We'll see how it goes. There's a door here. Yeah, let's do this, Dan. I'll go in first. Stay behind me. Jesus, Briscoe, you'd be scaring the shit out of me. Who's in front of me? Briscoe? And this thing? This is like the exact same room we were in earlier on. Yeah, I found a key, guys. Just in case you want to know, there's a key over here. I guess I have to wait until you figure it out yourselves. Everyone knows Clock Tower Tree, but, but not everyone plays it. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows about it. Yeah, we, we don't play it though. It's like, oh, okay. Hey, you know, if I could play this, if I could play this, you know? There's a key under the desk, girl. Briscoe, you're being really annoying the last five minutes, I gotta say. What could it be? Erotic points. Erotic points. You've got a really dirty mind. It's a key. Black. <laughs> okay. Mission accomplished. That's like the second time in the entire game we've got to do that. There's a door here. Okay, now back to business.
It's Adonis. What are you doing hiding in there? Don't come near me. What are you talking about? We came looking for you, man. Idiots. I told you to stay away. Huh? Bad timing on our part. You got this, dude. What should I do? Yeah, shoot it. It's no use. The pistol won't work. Run. Run. <laughs> Can we just like whack it with the camera a few times? I got 290 erotic points. You happy? Immoral. Oh shit, you can go even further beyond. Probably like get feely with it. Ooh. <laughs> Zero immoral points. I've been a good boy this entire game. I'm gonna play this one day and get them all. I'm writing this on the way Enjoyed in the van. The company after I did, but I had a lot of respect for him. We went there to save him, but we ended up not being able to do a damn thing. God damn it! I feel so empty. Oh, my back. Come on. Let's just head to Grand Park Station. We're going all over town, dude. Saki TV news van. There might be some survivors in it. Let's check it out. I like the fancy music. There's nobody Have yet. a look at this, viewers. Anna's still we alive. found a news van we believe our Zaka TV colleagues were in. We will now check for survivors. I think this game deserves a second playthrough. Just to see Anna die straight away. See and see what's different. Seat. And more immoral points. Maybe somebody is in the back. Let's go find out. Probably a much, much shorter game. Man, this is awful. I'm afraid there aren't any survivors. No, huh? Well, I guess we'd better get to the station. <laughs> huh? Did you hear that? It sounds like some kind of beast roaring. It might be a monster. Oh no. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Suda 51 and Delhi Premonition Sweary 65 are collaborating on a horror game. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see how that that works out. 14 frames on the Switch edition. With some bitchin' ass music. Chris 41's gonna like that. Let's wait and see. You know, now that I think about it, there are still Chris 69. Things we don't know. For instance, how does the infection through the air, maybe? Nah, you'd all be dead then. If that's true, then there's a good chance we've all already been infected. I don't even want We're to drunk think again. about it. We don't even know how long the incubation period is after somebody gets infected. It was pretty quick. Pamela's case. 
Maybe it's different with each person. I guess it won't do us any good to think about it. I guess not. Let's just hope we find that vaccine at the station. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah! <laughs> and they're working with publisher Devolver Digital. They made uh, Hotline Miami, right? Loved Hotline Miami. What? Good evening. This is Ann Anderson. By going to Let's find a sweet spot. And making contact with Dr. O'Connor, a biotech researcher. We learned that the cause of the tragedy now occurring in Chicago. Where's the sweet spot? A new bioweapon developed by the military and Zaka group. There is a vaccine that can save people from the terror of the virus. Guess there isn't none for this room. It could be located somewhere here in Grant Park Station. The question is, will we be able to find it? Damn, last second I found it. It's all good, it's all good. This is the ticket gate. Ordinarily, many people would be passing through these turnstiles in both directions. But there isn't. This is a steep as hell, dude. There. That can't be right. There are papers scattered here and there. The only sign that okay, so I've I told you before I seen this game before like We'll say an hour of this game. I'm pretty sure Anna dies straight away and this part where I'm standing I think I think this is uh what I seen this is like the next level when Anna dies where you're standing right now There's like a van down there or something you have to walk back around and then the guy was like, this game sucks and turned it off. <laughs> so, so that's how I discovered this game exists. And this was like 20 minutes into the game. If Anne, if Anne gets her head chop chop. There's a train stopped at the platform. Let's go take a look. Chris, if you were a reporter, how much would you charge for reporting a case like this? Were your life on the line? And would you see it through? I don't know how much reporters get paid for going in dangerous situations. But if I felt it was important to me, as in I believed in it, I'd do it. Yeah. I'd want some good pay, but I'd do it. You want to pick it up? Yeah, I'd do it. I, I think uh, reporters that are in fucking terrible situations to get the truth out to the world is really cool. You know? Especially when they're legit and they're not like manipulating. Can I not pick that up? Is that not a, a uh, VCR? This looks like a Tony Hawk level. Have a look at this, viewers. This car looks like it might have been used for transporting some kind of animals. Oh, they got loose. These appear to be cages. They're empty now, however. A part of one of the cages is destroyed. Sodium, potassium, magnesium, uh, 
so basically if your salt intake is good you're immune to the virus is that what the, that what we got from that I mean I be reading but I be skimming are we still doing this you want to read some more read out some dialogue come on dude where's there he is Man, the music's dying. Aha! Research documentes. Hmm. Stage one. Sensitive to sound. That's something we learned. It ends abruptly. Oh shit! So now we're gonna find out the we the real final form or their weakness or something. All right, all right. Keep following her in slow motion. Look at it. What's wrong with her feet? Did you see how he flip flop to the left or to uh, her right? Look at that. It's like the Dark Souls remaster where he fucked up the feet. Forgot about that until I just just uh, seen her running there. Ah, oh, Dark Soul Remastered, not not very good, dude. It not very good. Play the original. Shitty frame rate and all. Play the original. Hey, I'll I'll go ahead of you if I can. Uh oh, is that a dead body? Hey, dude, you all right? <laughs> Documents. Here we go. Top secret. Now, that's a lot of information. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Prevent infection. Anti G. So it's like the G virus. I haven't tried a Demon Souls remake. I don't got a PS5, but if I ever, if I ever get around to getting a PS5, it'll probably be one of the first games I buy. Welcome. Whoa. Hey, host. Thanks for the the follow, dude. Is that what they call big dudes in wrestling? A host, a hoss, host match. When you're when you're like a big burly guy. Right, we we taking our sweet time. It's it's like a Baywatch camera, you know. We're zooming in, you know. We're we're getting the 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 look right. Got to make sure the episode is watched by everybody. Get that uh, teen demographic. You want to shout randomly? Dying when we know. As you can see, there's a woman's body here. Or IP. She appears to have been a researcher. Could she have been attacked by an escaped beast? It looks like she has something in her hand. What is it? Let me pick it up. It appears to be a bottle of chemicals. The bottle is broken and the contents are gone. I wonder what was in it. We we good? We going anywhere else? How's that booty looking? It all right. It all right. Briscoe is talking again. Bunch of writing. They're just telling us about anti-cells. 
anti anti cells escape I don't know kangaroos potassium chloride magnesium chloride <laughs> Make a culture medium for the vaccine with these ingredients. Hmm. These ingredients are pretty common. Maybe we could find other things that contain them. What? Really? Yes. I bet we could even find them in a convenience store. To the supermarket. Whoa. I think there was a convenience store nearby. Let's go. That's the end of the episode. Yay! I was like, if I have to walk back, huh? Oh, great. If I die and I have to redo the running. Let's get out of here. Throw the body at her. Then what do we do? What else am I supposed to do? Lean against the side here and run. I'm guessing something to do with the red light. We'll summon a train or something. <laughs> Some persona. Did we summon a train? <laughs> that was a joke! What what happened here? Who's driving that into this city right now? That was a that was not being serious. At all. Hello? Did you hear something just now? <gasps> Was it a ghost train? Anybody there? Did I kill it with my magic powers? Maybe I'm infected and that's why I'm able to do weird shit. Like watch people run in slow motion. I'm just so fast that everyone else looks like they're running slow. Hey. Trying to help? I hurt my leg, and I can't get up onto the platform. Should I help him? Hey, what are you filming? This isn't some kind of show. Hurry up and pull me up, will you? Gotta get this. I say, I pressed triangle before it was too late. I swear. <gasps> what if that was the monster, and that's what he really looked like, and I'm a psychopath, and I just left him there to get hit by a train. I, pre I swear I pressed triangle. Ah! Hey, that's thanks a lot. You saved me. Here, let me repay you. Huh? Hmm? I lost my ID card. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Time for nothing. It won't do me any good now anyway. But I really want to thank you guys. Sure thing. It was nothing. We just did what anybody would have done. By the way, what are you going to do now? Do you want to come with us? Yeah. With you hurt like that, it's too dangerous out here for you. And if we go to the airport, the military is supposed to come evacuate us. Thanks, but I'll be okay. I have to stay here and wait for somebody. Wait for somebody? Here? Yeah. So I can't go with you. I can't just desert my friend. Hmm. I guess not. Well, I guess we better get going. If we all get through this alive, get a hold of us someday. Dwight? You think so? We'd like to do a piece on you. Promise? 
Yeah. <laughs> sure. I'll do that. Really? <laughs> she didn't talk to him or anything? She just left? Alright, uh, see you around, guy. Glad I saved you and all. Wow, he got fucked up. So where's the train that killed them? You know, th that's what I want to know. The train I summoned. It should be on this track right next to me. We really do have to run all the way back, huh? It's a special type of ammo that can be packed with the vaccine. I bet we could load your pistol with it. And then we could shoot monsters with it, right? Go back and kill our friend. But first we have to get the vaccine. Let's go. Walk all the way back. Super ammo. Yeah, we got like a magnum now. You know, grenade launcher. In the form of a 9mm a vaccine shot. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to get the hell out of here. This slow mode shit is getting on my nerves. Whoa. All right. I'll be floating. Oh, well, it's not too bad. There's been worse. Abandoned train station. Let's Old and whatnot. Go. I think we're Let's done. Let's get to that convenience store. Damn, what a mission. Let's go shopping. Jesus, that was exhausting. No, uh, no erotic, no immoral, but we did save some guy's life. So we should get moral points for that, right? We're great dudes.